Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a couple of ways to clean up your right-click new menu options. So when I say that, I mean if you're in a folder and you right-click and you go to new, you'll have some choices here. These will vary depending on what programs you have on your computer. So let's say you wanted to do a quick text document, you could just click on that. And then you got a new text document, you could you know name it whatever you want, and it's ready to go. Now let's say you have some stuff in here that you'll never use, like you know, an RTF or WinRAR or Microsoft Access Database and so on, you could actually remove some of these things pretty easily. So there's a couple ways you could do it. First way involves just a quick registry edit, and then the second way is a little third-party app, which I'll show you in a second here. So to begin, let's go to the registry by clicking on Start, doing your search box. You could do it in Cortana and typing in RegEdit. And you'll see the Reg ed RegEdit e EXE right there. Say yes to the permission. So first you want to go to this hkey classes root folder and then you want to do a search there. So what you want to do is, so let's say we're back here and let's say I want, I don't want rich text format to be an option here. So you need to know that's an RTF file, just like a, you know, Excel file is an Excel XS file and that kind of thing, and bitmaps, BMP and so on. So we're going to go back to registry editor, do a find control F and we're going to type in RTF, or you could type in dot RT, if I could type in RTF, <laughs> and click on Find Next. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you're finding the folder. So if it finds something over here or finds something that's not a subfolder of this H key classes root folder, you're not in the right place. So once you find that there, you just need to expand it with the arrow here and see where the shell new folder here you just want to delete that what you might want to do in case you change your mind you could right click on this and you could export the key and then wherever you want to save it to uh, let's say let's call this a uh, RTF backup So now I saved it there, so if you ever change your mind, you want it back, or you mess something up, all you have to do is double click this reg file, and it'll add it back in there for you. Okay, so going back there, we're gonna click on shell new. We're gonna delete, say yes, so that's gone. Go back to any folder in Windows Explorer, right click new. Now you can see RTF, or rich text format document is gone. So let's do the same for WinRAR. So like I said, you have to know the file extension, so I know that's .rar. So we'll go back here, go back up here, just click on here to start your search from the top so you make sure you're not starting it from somewhere else. Control F, go to .rar, find next, and there it is. Shell new folder, delete, yes. Go back, right click. Now that's gone, so you can just kind of clean it up so you only have the ones you want in there. So another way to do that is you could download this little executable file called Shell New Handler. I'll put a link in the description. And so when you double click that, say yes to running it. Now this is going to have a list of stuff to enable or disable. Now you'll find that there is stuff listed here that you don't have on your new menu. So I'm not sure where it's pulling this from, but for stuff that is on there. So let's say I don't want zip file anymore. So this compressed folder is zip file, by the way. Click that, click on apply. Okay, now if I go here, the compressed folder zip file is gone. So if I want it back, go back here. Check it again, apply. Probably don't have to close the app. And now it's back. So there you go, you know, a couple ways to do it. There's other ways to do it too, but I think these are the easiest ways. So either delete that shell new folder from the registry from that H key classes root folder. So do your searches from there. You have to know the file extension, or you could download this click little thing and check and uncheck um, which ones you want to uh, use and not use. All right, pretty simple. That's it. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.